So, today we'll go ahead and let science take the charge on saving the planet this time. We just need to make sure to get the science points created, as well as get the cards going in these other categories so we can keep getting more goods. So, now that we're getting money from all the categories, we can focus on branching out the science funding, especially with the science incubator. Because once we have this, we can get some random cards, and hopefully one of them is what we need. Or, you know, we just put money into the emission cleaning. Whatever works. And speaking of things working, we can fund the agroecology. So that way we'll get some free money without causing any more emissions. Because having to wait 400 seconds for one of these things to go through is kind of tedious. And we have our first event, an intense drought. All right, thankfully we have enough science points for that. Science never failed us. Ooh, we can actually afford the regenerative agriculture here. That should speed up the ecosystem rate even more. Just in time for the first tipping point to go through. Lovely. So our good friend, the 100-year flood shows up, which we are able to solve pretty much right away. And there's even more cards showing up. Oh, lovely. And the regenerative agriculture showed up when we don't have space for it. I love that so much. And we get more money from solving the intense drought. Now we should be able to reliably get the emission cleaning underway. And also expanding the sector size because the random card might end up in the science category. It really could end up anywhere. And it is the geothermal wells in the industry. Great, more emission faster. I love that. But there's the emission cleaning over there, which took away a fair chunk of the emissions we already built up. I think it would be worth it to get this research center as well so we can get more science points faster. I might also just get rid of the geothermal wells that's speeding up industry. We'll just let that sit outside and then it'll destroy itself. I don't need the emissions building up faster than they already do. Ooh, but we can solve this and get 90 emissions removed. That sounds really good right now. And there go the geothermal wells. And oh yes, that moved the bar back so much. The money is good, but not when it's being plagued by 20 emissions every time. But now we're back to having zero science points. So let's go ahead and fund the lifestyle changes to slow down the people production and make their emissions negative. So we already have a few negatives stored up actually. The emissions per round is 17. And the problem is every time we use the random card, it becomes more expensive each time. And we do have a lot of money and people stored up. So if we need to, we can use the nature restoration. But now we can afford the carbon capture. So let's just go ahead and get that underway. You know what? Let's just fund this right now. If I don't reach the second tipping point, then I'll be very happy. There, now we have the carbon capture, which brings a science to negative four emissions. Sadly though, we can't upgrade it further. I guess we'll need these research centers to keep things going. Thankfully, we're collecting science points at an even faster rate, so that doesn't take too much. There, now we have the research centers, so we can get some other things going. Ooh, advanced robotics? That would really speed up the science production. Should probably no. expand the zone first though. Now we are starting to get close to that tipping point again. But let's see what these advanced robotics can do. And the best part is the science emissions are still gonna be negative. And the robots are here. So we can rely on Skynet to save the future. Cause that's how that works, right? Climate change denial, that's cute. We have plenty of people coins for that. Okay, this is pretty cool. We can get humankind engineering or massive automation. That'll bring the emissions to zero though. And we have a lot of money to fund the humankind engineering. So while it's working on that, I feel like we should do something with all this money that we have. Maybe expanding the people zone and then getting some voluntary frugality or loss and damage aid. Ooh, that could be pretty good. Oh, okay. This is starting to get a little dystopian. We can fund some VR worlds or get designer babies. Moral implications, be ready to throw them out the window. But now we have loss and damage aid, so the people are removing even more emissions, which is good. And the science is actually developing really quickly too, only 20 seconds. Oh, there's the next tipping point, the coral die off. Easy peasy, and we get a science card out of it, reducing even more emissions. So this is a weird route to take, but the designer babies seems to be the way to go. It's a different color than, oh, because it goes into people. I see. Oh, what is this? Fringe research. Oh, cool. More emissions reduction. So now that the people can make custom characters with the next generation, that brings their production down to 31 seconds. Neat. Especially since all of them are reducing emissions. That brings the emissions per round down to seven. I like it. But let's continue our journey into science with VR worlds. Because we don't need to save the planet if the planet is fake. The lizard man will come in clutch with that. We're also going to need to expand the sector size for science. And there's a VR world. Ooh, a VR utopia. <laughs> Interesting. It also creates a few more emissions. 
Weird. Must be the crypto VR stock market. Since we have so much money and people, we should probably increase the ecosystems section before we get another card there. And we haven't even touched the industry section all that much. I wonder how difficult it would be to get a victory through industry, if that's even possible. Because even the nuclear energy creates a bit of emissions. But now we have plenty of science points stored up. So let's go ahead and get this VR utopia underway. I also love that the headset is so blatantly the meta quest. Other games would be like, oh yeah, generic headset, no problem. This game is like, nah, we know who's doing it. It's also funny that the designer babies is as far as that branch goes. It's like, nope, that's it, we peaked. Reality can be whatever we want it to be with custom babies. So while on the one hand, we're getting close to science being net zero on carbon, we are, oh, it's also a people card. Can science really go any further? Or do we need the geoengineering actually? Yeah, we probably need that. At least the people are really rocking it with their whole custom setup they have going. And this is as far as that goes. So the people are kind of just blissfully ignorant of the world around them. If you don't see the problem, does it really exist? Actually, knowing people, they'd probably find a way to pollute the VR world as well. That's always how that goes. But now we have geoengineering. So there's the victory card. Atmospheric aerosols, cool. But that takes quite a bit of money that we surprisingly don't have. The people are just eating it up. I guess because our money production isn't that frequent. Oh, I see. Maybe this would be a good time to bring in some of the other things like nuclear energy because that will generate money pretty quickly and not do too much for the emissions. The people are also drastically going to start starving themselves. That's what happens when you spend all day playing video games. This also takes a long time to make. Oh boy. Industry is just barely keeping ahead. Maybe we should bring in some aquaponics to speed up the ecosystem money making. And we're starting to see that we don't have a lot of money to solve these other issues like wild deforestation and last elephants. Oh gosh, that'll create a tipping point. Yeah, and this one's about to kick off. Ah, there's no money. There's no money. Okay, so that just added 10 emissions there. At least we have more time to solve the last elephants. But will we have enough money? If this regenerative agriculture gets completed, then maybe we're just barely there. Okay, there's that. We need money pretty quickly here. Deforestation is about to kick off again. Oh, geez. Okay, there's the money. I'm just gonna go for it. Ah, the people took a money. Give it back. Give me the money back. Come on, come on. There it is, going for it, mitigating. Okay, no more last elephants crisis. But now, oh, yep, people are starving. After expired, that's, is that game over? Well, at least we have people to solve it, so no worries there. We have way too many people to solve it. I might need to get rid of one of these cars because the people are kind of driving me into the ground here. Let's get rid of the designer babies because that's just weird. There's a few more emissions, lovely. But now we're just gonna go ahead and mitigate this. Yeah, people are starving again, but we have too many people to solve that. So we're fine. Get rid of the spooky music. Goodbye, designer babies. No more custom characters for you. Okay, so let's slow down the people production a little bit, but it's still kind of faster than both of these things. Well, not really. We have nuclear energy now. Oh, well, look at that. There is a victory there for the industry place. Neat. Safer nuclear energy. That doesn't even do anything. Or we could do the 2.0 if we had a lot more money than we currently have. But we'll stop wasting food so we get another ecosystem card. I almost said the other thing. Okay, now we're starting to see a positive increase of money. Basic fusion sounds really interesting though. We'll have to explore that a different time. Right now I'm just focused on finally being able to afford atmospheric aerosols. That removes 100 emissions. Ooh, we get a free science card for solving the ocean levels. We're getting science every 13 seconds. That's really quick, especially since we need to expand it again. Look at how many people and science points we're collecting. Oh, that's beautiful. All right. So from atmospheric aerosols, we create space mirrors. That takes so much money. Oh my goodness. But it also removes 250 emissions. That is insane. We should probably work on more industry so we can fund this. And I'm really curious about what safer nuclear energy is going to do. It looks like we can expand from there. Also in the nature category, there was a world climate fund. That should give us quite a bit of money to work with. We also need to expand the zone of ecosystems in case a surprise card shows up. Oh, and it looks like safer nuclear energy increases industry speed. Is that it? Nope. No, it, it, the arrow went away. What's the point of you? You did nothing. Get out of here, you're taking up space. We don't need nukes to be safe. We just need them to work. All right, tragic harvest, easy solve, get free money from that. So that's good, but we'll need to do something else with the nukes. Once we can afford, ooh, there's the World Climate Fund. So we're getting a money every 21 seconds here. That's working well for me. Surprisingly, we're seeing 11 emissions per round now. 
I wonder what happened there. But now we have enough money for nuclear energy 2.0. So let's get that underway so we can get more money. That's gonna really bite us for the emissions, I feel like. But it's for a good cause, you know space mirrors because space is amazing we just gotta wait an egregious amount of time for that to kick in although i wonder if we get good enough nuclear energy then we could probably get rid of the 20th century industry card because those values should be the same and they'll give us a lot less emissions that seems interesting Ooh, private space travels say less and that gave us voluntary frugality neat did that count as free i don't think it did but at least the people slow down so they're not taking as much money it is kind of fun the way this game works like you think you could spend everything in just one category but you end up having to expand everything else anyway it goes to show that everything works together and we are very close to being able to afford atmospheric aerosols we already did we need space mirrors so we'll just get all the people on board with that oh great pandemic really no, 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 of all no, no, times no. just go ahead and get rid of that so i don't have to worry about it so once these space mirrors are complete we remove 250 emissions from that that sounds really good is that going to be the cliche science solution of we destroyed this planet let's move on to the next one i guess we'll find out soon enough that science fund is huge right now i don't even know what to do with all those science points maybe another random card don't really need it but now we have nuclear energy 2.0 which is amazing so we should be able to just get rid of the industry it slows it down to what it was but that also cut the emissions way down so we're looking at minus 18 emissions per round that was easy so now the 20th century industry is gone for good Ooh, a modular nuclear reactor i like the sounds of this especially since we can afford it that's just another eternity before we get that why do nukes have to take so long our production up here is looking really good honestly i don't think there's anything we can't afford now as long as you know the nuke money gets made okay whoa 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 that created it oh i i misread that entirely i misread that entirely that was a lot of emissions to go up there well at least our emissions per round is still super negative so we're able to stop the tipping point there i yeah yeah okay this planetary thermostat is kind of funny not gonna lie but that is also really expensive and yet we're not too far away from affording it because we've built up a lot of science points to get to this point. And now that the modular nuclear reactor is here, we're getting that money a lot faster. So as long as this planetary thermostat doesn't add any more surprises, we can afford it right now. Getting all the people on board with it and adding 30 science points in rapid discussion to blow out my headphones. And we have all the money that we need to make this happen too. So we can replace the space mirrors. And as long as no more surprise events show up, we should have this in the bag. Except of course, there's gonna be a solar storm because why not? We still have so much science left over so there's really no problem we can't tackle because if the planet can't heal itself then we'll just turn it into a giant cyborg the planet is our home so we're gonna control the temperature like a home yay with a nice amount of rounds needing to go into that as well definitely not the cheapest path yeah you're not kidding it took a lot of money to fund that science but it paid off in the end and we didn't even need to leave the planet which is a nice surprise controlling the whole population using virtual reality might not be the best way of keeping people happy i think there's a movie about that yeah, and they seemed happy there. Just don't worry about it. The plan is saved. That's the point of this, right? Anyway, thank you for watching. Sub to intern. And thanks to channel members including Brad, Mr. Corporal One, Ancient Elixir One, Kirby Farm, Dakota C, Donomoto, Deviant X, Muffet Suffer, Lucas S, Flyer Sax, a real nickname, Edward, Hippo Harold, Peggy Sue, Drupalongs, TJ, Seriously Sarcastic, Angel, Lily Bites, Minor Thin, Levi Fox, Degarity, and Sands.